Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine. Today I have another chalk drawing to share with you. And if you're wondering why I'm crouching down, it's because I am using my mounted chalkboards rather than my mobile chalkboard. So we're gonna work on the lower half right here. And behind me over here, you can see an old chalk drawing from one of our previous units that we just haven't erased because we like it so much. Now today we're going to be doing something out of the Waldorf curriculum for botany. We're going to be doing an orange tree, which isn't typically the very first lesson. All right, so I got the curriculum for you to see. This is generally the very first lesson, or you could do an apple blossom. And this is the drawing that I found online that I'm going to use as inspiration. So I am going to get my supplies together and we're gonna draw. All right, so I wanna show you really quickly the chalk pastels that we are using. They are, by, they are by Sargent Art, and I picked them up from Dick Blick a while ago. Now I'm gonna try something else that's a little different for this chalk drawing, and that's I'm, that I'm going to use a glove because the last chalk drawing that I did, excuse me. <laughs> so the last chalk drawing that I did, I got a chalk all over my fingers and it took days to completely get off. So I don't even know if this is gonna be a good idea, but I just, I, I just, it was just really hard to remove. I think it's because it's like a chalk pastel. It really just got all over my fingers. So <laughs> let's try that. I don't know, let's see how it goes. I know that it will be a little bit harder to blend colors since uh, I won't be able to use my hand to blend colors, so we'll see. I'm also working on a chalkboard rather than my slate chalkboard, which I painted. So hopefully I'll be able to blend a little bit better on this chalkboard without having to use my hand. We'll see. All right, so let's get started. I got this image off of the internet. It turns out it's going to be really difficult for me to copy this and I'm going to make some changes right away. Okay, so a change of plans. I'm not gonna do the orange tree. I'm gonna go back and do the one that's in the book. I'm just finding that the smaller scale is going to be a little bit more difficult for me to get all the pieces in that I want on this chalkboard because it is really tiny. So, and I'm having a hard time copying something that isn't quite drawn. It's just really hard for me to, to copy something that isn't in the same medium that I'm working in. And I'm working in chalk, so I need something that's either drawn or in chalk as well. And that one just was a little complicated for me. So back to the drawing board, literally. All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and erase it, and then my daughter's gonna come back in and erase it as well. She's gonna work with us, but this lesson is actually intended for grade five, and my 10-year-old is going to be doing this lesson with us. So I'm gonna begin by doing the root system and a stem. I'm doing the roots in white, but my son is working on pastel paper, which is white, so he is going to try just to leave areas blank so that he can have a root system, but this proved to be a little more difficult for him, and in the future, I might have just had him use the most pale color on his palette to do the root system. Then we're going to move on to the leaves and I really just could not get the shape like the one in the book. I, I was really struggling with this and my son, you know, he was just copying me. He didn't have as much opinion about the shape of the leaves or the petals, but I was really trying to copy the book and I had, I struggled with this one and in fact I struggled with this the last time I did this unit seven years ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some lighter greens for some highlights, but then I accidentally grabbed the black to do some of the petals underneath the flower, and that doesn't, that doesn't look good, and then I just kind of kept going with it, unfortunately. And also the shape of the petals really just, I don't know what kind of flower that is, but anyway, the point is that we did a complete plant that has the flowers and the leaves and the roots and this is the first lesson for the botany main lesson unit and this unit will probably run about six to eight weeks and this chalk drawing will probably only stay up for a couple of days it's not meant to stay up for the whole entire unit i've got six mounted chalkboards and we'll do lessons on all of them oh and by the way it was far more difficult to do the chalk drawing with the gloves How However, my hands were clean when I was done. <laughs> so anyway, if you want to check out my son's drawing, you can find it on my website at pepperandpine.com. And if you want to keep up with us on a daily basis to see how this unit progresses, you can find me on Instagram at pepperandpine.